Bowman here at BW1.com. I'm going to give you my review of the LG X120 3G Ready Netbook. LG was nice enough to send us a review unit to give you our experience of the product and give you our full review. So the first thing we're going to do is going to take a quick tour around here. The first thing you'll notice here at the top, it's a nice smooth finish with the LG logo. It's a nice smooth and soft finish at the top. And then around it has a nice little purple accent that covers the entire uh, top portion of the laptop here, the top lid, lid part right here, which is pretty cool. Slide this around, and we'll take a look here at the front. You have your, your nice uh, LED indicators here. You have your media card slot. On this side, you have your microphone port, your headset port, S-Link port, USB, BGA, and your lock port right here. On the back, there isn't any, any ports, but there is your battery, which this is a six cell battery that gives you up to seven hours of battery life. Here you have your um, charge port here. You have your ethernet, this is 10 by 100. You have a nice little vent port, <laughs> ventilation, rather not port, but ventilation right there. This is your USBs, you have two of them right here, USB 2.0. And that pretty much is this, as far as the ports are concerned. And we open it up here. We slide it down and we reveal a nice 10.1 inch LED backlit screen. It gives you a resolution of 1024 by 576. That is also a widescreen 16 by 9 as well. So you, so you do get the nice widescreen view when you're looking at it here. At the top is a 1.3 megapixel camera. Slide it a little bit down here, reveal the QWERTY keyboard. It's a pretty nice keyboard, it's real comfortable. I, I would say definitely to type on. You do have your Intel Atom processor that gives you uh, 1.6 gigahertz of processing power and a 533 front side bus. One gigabyte of DDR2 memory at 800 megahertz. You do get a 160 gigabyte SATA, SATA drive on this. This does come with a 5400 RPM SATA drive. So that's pretty much cool to round up some of the features there. It does weigh about 2.8 pounds, so it's pretty light. It doesn't feel too heavy. I carried it in my bag on a recent trip that I went on, and it wasn't too heavy at all. Definitely, definitely like it. Uh, down here, you can check out the mouse pad. It's a little bit kind of a different feel. It's more, a little bit more of a plasticky feel, and this is sort of one button with a split on it, and you just kind of go left to right here to click on the different, um, to click on from left to right here, which is pretty simple. So that pretty much rounds up sort of the hardware tour of the LG Netbook. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a quick software tour. We're going to check out LG's uh, Smart On interface, and then we're going to check out when we fully bo boot it into Windows. Okay, before we load up the software in the LG Netbook, first we've got to add our 3G connectivity. Now basically, the technology in here in the U.S., you'd have to use AT&T's uh, 3G to be able to use 3G on the Netbook. So you're going to need, need a SIM card from AT&T which we do have here and the slot is right behind the battery right here where my fingers pointing so all you have to do is take the SIM card which I have here slide it right there in the in the bottom there and it's gonna make a clicking noise like that indicate that it's it's locked in set up and ready to go so we're just gonna plug back in our battery and power it up and check out the software inside okay the first thing I'm gonna check out in LG software is the smart on technology which is basically an instant on OS so we'll just click the button here on the side the netbook will power up and basically it's a Linux based uh, quick OS operating system that loads up in just seconds there as you can see and um, it, it basically allows you to get the quick things as you can see you can go to the web, music, online games, photos, or chat you can do any of those things there so if you want to just click on music or we'll actually open up a music player okay just click continue there I'll load up the interface and I'll load up the music in just a second. See, it loads up the music player here and it allows you to go within your own storage that's on the hard drive here and play your music right from there without loading up the entire operating system. You can go to photos as well. You can check out some of the photos that are, that are on your uh, netbook as well. You can go to the web, which allows you to uh, do uh, 3G or Wi-Fi connectivity, or you can um, check out some online gaming as well. So basically, as you can see here, as it loads up, it, it gives you the basics as, as quickly as possible. And it's a nice way just to kind of bang into it without having to load up the entire OS. It's a feature that's been on a lot of netbooks. That's also been on a lot of uh, motherboards and, and as well. It's a quick way to load up, uh, load up to get some quick information without having to load up the entire OS. And within here, you can load up the OS at any time. If you scroll down here to the bottom, it'll say Enter OS. If you hit that, it'll actually uh, reboot and load up the operating system fully, which we're going to do right now. 
Okay, now we have the netbook booted up fully into Windows. It's in Windows XP Home Edition, which is pretty cool, but we do wish that it did have Windows 7 because Windows 7 works really well on netbooks and it would be nice to work in the latest operating system, but Windows XP does work well for the netbook. You get the basic software that you need with it from Office and your basic you know, internal Windows apps as well. Get nice LG software as well, and you get the Cyberlink UCAM to manage your webcam as well to do different um, effects and stuff like that. But um, mainly we want to check out obviously here is the 3G, which we have set up and connected. We have an on at t 3G connection here, as you can see. And we're going to just do a quick test here. So I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. Okay, you see load the page and connects. We're just going to try one more site here. Everyone's favorite site, bw1.com. Let's see how fast it loads up. And there you go. It loads up pretty, pretty fast and pretty decently there. And um, we have a nice 3G connection. I did find that 3G with AT&T service can be a little spotty and can be a little tricky at times. Uh, the netbook, when connected, does work really well with the 3G service, but AT&T, I would put it more on AT&T for not having the best of 3G coverage. The netbook works really well, but the 3G coverage can be very sporadic and kind of and kind of spotty and kind of um, janky at times. So um, be be wary of that if you're going to use AT&T 3G. But other than that, it works well on 3G, works well on Wi-Fi as well. And um, overall, it, 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 it's good. To, it, it's a pretty good netbook to work on. You have enough space for the, for the keys to, you know, to be able to type and stuff like that. You're able to do a few papers here and there. You'll be able to do some web service, some basic stuff there. All the stuff you can do with a netbook, you basically can get away with um, using here on the LG X120. So it does work really well, and you do get the 3G as well. So you'll be able to use this all around the world as well. So not just here, and you know, just use AT&T here if you're in America, but let's say you're in Canada or if you're in Europe, you can pop in different SIM cards and have the ability to use the 3G services over there as well. So that's a definite advantage. Overall, I definitely want to give this a thumbs up. It's a, definitely a good netbook. If you're in the market for a netbook, definitely consider the LG X120 as one of the ones to consider. Definitely good. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com giving you my review of the LG X120 3G rating netbook reminding you to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash bw1.com. Follow our RSS feed, subscribe to our YouTube page, and always remember to live your tech world at high definition.